I want to talk to you for a second about the biggest activist group in the world, the United Nations, and why they are still pushing the population misinformation that they are pushing. This came up last week. My friend Todd Thurman, who co-hosts the Business of Agriculture Success Group with me, was on LinkedIn talking about the skewed information that the United Nations is clinging to, that there is going to still be a big increase in population, and we won't hit our peak until after year 2050, and we could eventually get to 9.2, possibly even 10 billion people. Well, this is a little bit amended from what the United Nations was telling us a decade or so ago, that we we're going to hit 11 billion or maybe even 17 billion. To give you a reference, we're around 8 billion humans on the planet right now. Um, why does the United Nations still cling to this? Because it is their cause. And for an activist group, which is what the United Nations is, to have any relevance and therefore a bureaucratic power and budget, there must be a cause or a crisis. And we see the United Nations was founded after World War II to create global peace. Well, every day since the incarnation of the United Nations, there has been an armed conflict somewhere on the planet. The United Nations has not prevented humans from being violent and having wars. The United Nations moved in the 1960s onto the Population Bomb. A book actually was titled Population Bomb, written by some wacko Stanford professor that still to this day gets quoted and talks at great length about how we're going to overpopulate and we'll all die. Clearly that's not happened since the 1960s till today. Our population is around 8 billion people. I think we won't even get to 9 billion. I've been telling my agricultural audiences for a decade, the more advanced a society becomes educationally and economically, the less babies they have. The more urbanized, the less babies. The more education a girl attains and the more economic opportunity a girl has, the later in life she waits to have babies and the fewer babies she has. This is happening the world over. Yay, girls! big point here is we're not going to have a population problem. Yet the United Nations clings to it. Why? Because for an activist organization to have political power and a budget and expensive real estate in New York City, you have to have justification through a cause. The cause is population, but it's going away. Not fast enough because the United Nations still needs it to have justification. That's why the United Nations is pretty adamantly working toward their next cause. The next crisis they're pushing is climate crisis. That's why for the last decade, they have had global summits about climate, advocating for the transfer of $4 trillion of wealth from wealthy countries like the United States to the developing world under the guise of changing the weather. So now you understand that the United Nations is not going to stop clinging to population until they firmly entrench the next crises, which is climate crises. Ah, now it all makes sense. Follow the money and the bureaucratic power and you'll understand the United Nations. It's never been about world peace. It's never really been about changing the population. It's probably going to change the weather either. But that's the United Nations. Probably you now understand. And I don't mind if you doubt me, but keep up my other stuff, the Business of Agriculture podcast, and also all my commentary on my YouTube channel. Go to YouTube and type in Damian Mason. Thanks so much for listening.